They're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets. And this is what's happening in our country. And it's a shame. <laughs> you talk about extreme. <laughs> I created one of the greatest economies in the history of our country. I'll do it again and even better. And what we have done is clean up Donald Trump's mess. I took in billions and billions of dollars, as you know, from China. Well, but I'm going to tell you all in this debate tonight, you're going to hear from the same old tired playbook. It's China. They're taking in billions of dollars from China. China was paying us hundreds of billions of dollars, billions of dollars, hundreds of billions of dollars. A bunch of lies, grievances, and name calling. She was the border czar. She doesn't want to be called the border czar because she's embarrassed by the border. She doesn't have a plan. She copied Biden's plan, and it's like four sentences, like run, spot, run. Donald Trump has no plan for you. People can't go out and buy cereal or bacon or eggs or anything else. These, the people of our country are absolutely dying with what they've done. She believed three years ago and four years ago is out the window. She's going to my philosophy now. In fact, I was going to send her a MAGA hat. She's gone to my philosophy. But if she ever got elected, she'd change it. And it will be the end of our country. She's a Marxist. Everybody knows she's a Marxist. Her father's a Marxist professor in economics, and he taught her well. But when you look at what she's done to our country. Donald Trump actually has no plan for you because he is more interested in defending himself than he is in looking out for you. It's just a sound bite. I gave her that to say. But her vice presidential pick says abortion in the ninth month is absolutely fine. He also says execution after birth. It's execution, no longer abortion, because the baby is born is okay. And that's not okay with me. There is no state in this country where it is legal to kill a baby after it's born. The government, and Donald Trump certainly, should not be telling a woman what to do with her body. Will she allow abortion in the eighth month, ninth month, seventh month? Okay, would you do that? I'll tell you something. He's going to talk about immigration a lot tonight, even when it's not the subject that is being raised. And I'm going to actually do something really unusual, and I'm going to invite you to attend one of Donald Trump's rallies, because it's a really interesting thing to watch. You will see during the course of his rallies, he talks about fictional characters like Hannibal Lecter. He will talk about windmills cause cancer. And what you will also notice is that people start leaving his rallies early out of exhaustion and boredom. People don't leave my rallies. We have the biggest rallies, the most incredible rallies in the history of politics. What's going on here, you're going to end up in World War III, just to go into another subject, and look at what's happening to the towns all over the United States. Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country, and it's a shame. I just want to clarify here, you bring up Springfield, uh, Ohio. As there have been no credible reports of specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. Well, All I've this, seen people on television. Let me just say here, this is the- But people on television say my dog was taken and used for food. So maybe he said that, and maybe that's a good yeah. thing to say for a city manager. I'm not taking this from but television. But the people are on television the saying their dog was eaten by the people that went there. Again, the Springfield city manager says there's no evidence of that. Vice we'll President Harris, out. I'll let you respond to the rest of what you've heard. <laughs> you talk about extreme. <laughs> when somebody does a bad job, I fire them. I think this is so rich, <laughs> coming from someone who has been prosecuted for national security crimes, economic crimes, election interference, has been found liable for sexual assault, and his next big court appearance is in November at his own criminal sentencing. Excuse me. Every one of those cases was started by them against their political opponent. And then they say, oh, he was, he's a criminal. They're the ones that made them go after me. They used it to try and win an election. President They're Trump. fake cases. President Trump. He took a bullet to the head because of the things that they say about me. My values have not changed. And what is important is that there is a president who actually brings values and a perspective that is about lifting people up 
and not beating people down and name calling. Wait a minute, I'm talking now. If you don't mind, please. Does that sound familiar? Well, she went out. I was at the Capitol on January 6th. And on that day, the President of the United States incited a violent mob. We have a nation that is dying, David. Donald Trump was fired by 81 million people. So let's be clear about that. And clearly he is having a very difficult time processing that. And world leaders are laughing at Donald Trump. We had no problems when Trump was president. But when this weak, pathetic man that you saw at a debate just a few months ago, that if he weren't in that debate, he'd be running instead of her. She got no votes. He got 14 million votes, 14 million votes, and they threw him out of office. And you know what? I'll give you a little secret. He hates her. He can't stand her. He's trying to, again, divide and, and distract. It is well known that he admires dictators, wants to be a dictator on day one, according to himself. Where is our president? We don't even know if he's a president. And, and just to clarify they here. They threw him out of a campaign like a dog. We don't even know. Is he our president? But we have a president, Mr. president. that doesn't know he's alive. Well, first of all, it's important to remind the former president, you're not running against Joe Biden, you're running against me. Quiet, that please. They sent her in to negotiate with Zelensky and Putin, and she did. And the war started three days later. You're going to hear a bunch of lies coming from this fellow. And that is another one. Why do you believe it's appropriate to weigh in on the racial identity of your opponent? I don't, and I don't care. I don't care what she is. I don't care. Uh, you make a big deal out of something, I couldn't care less. Whatever she wants to be is okay with me. But those were your words, so I'm I asking... I don't know, I don't know. I mean, all I can say is I read where she was not black, that she put out, and I'll say that. And then I read that she was black. And that's okay. Either one was okay with me. That's up to her. Clearly, I am not Joe Biden. And I am certainly not Donald Trump. I never asked a victim or a witness, are you a Republican or a Democrat? The only thing I ever asked them, are you okay? And that's the kind of president we need right now. Someone who cares about you and is not putting themselves first. We're a nation that's in serious decline. We're being laughed at all over the world. All over the world, they're laughed. I know the leaders very well. They're coming to see me. They call me. We're laughed at all over the world. They don't understand what happened to us as a nation. We're not a leader. We don't have any idea what's going on. The worst president, the worst vice president in the history of our country.